This video will provide an in-depth review of how PAC's CID-510 instrument works and show how a few simple steps allows one to obtain the derived cetane number of a fuel sample, which correlates with cetane engine values and now allows certification of diesel fuels. No more hassles of working with expensive cetane engines. No more routine and expensive maintenance of the engine. No more hours of waiting time before you have the result. PAC's CID-510 brings you the power of knowing the cetane number every 30 minutes with a simple, benchtop, very low maintenance instrument. Let's first look at the main hardware components of the CID-510 system that makes it work with incredible precision. A sample chamber designed to hold diesel fuel at high pressure with high and low lever sensors built in. A pressure multiplier that delivers fuel to injector at the required pressure. A constant volume combustion chamber maintained at a specific temperature and pressure using clamp heaters that are controlled through embedded temperature sensors and inflow of filtered synthetic air at a specific pressure. It has a common rail diesel injector connected to it to introduce the sample and mix with air before combustion occurs. The onset and completion of the combustion process is recorded by a very precise pressure sensor attached to this combustion chamber. The injector and the pressure sensor are stabilized at a specific temperature through thermocouple feedback loop and a flow sensor. Clean the sample chamber with the diesel sample. Clean and flush the system with one push of a button. The pressure multiplier sends the sample to the waste bottle, cleaning all tubing along the way. Fill up the sample chamber with 160 milliliters of sample and close the lid. Flush the system with the sample. Water recirculates from the chiller to prevent overheating of the injector and the pressure sensor based on feedback from a thermocouple right next to the injector. The combustion chamber is heated up and stabilized at a preset value between 560 and 640 degrees Celsius with a precision of plus or minus 0.2 degrees Celsius. Combustion chamber is filled with synthetic air. The air pressure is maintained at 2 plus or minus 0.2 megapascals. Fill up the sample chamber with 160 milliliters of sample and close the lid. With the click of a button, sample flows to the injector. And as the electronic pulse is sent to the injector, the fuel is atomized inside the combustion chamber at 100 plus or minus 1.5 megapascals to ensure efficient mixing with the synthetic air already present inside the chamber. As the combustion initiates, the signal recorded at the dynamic pressure sensor sharply rises and continues to rise until the combustion of all atomized diesel is complete. The time gap in milliseconds between the leading edge of the electronic pulse sent to the common rail injector and the rise of combustion chamber pressure, 0.2 megapascals above the static chamber pressure, is designated as ignition delay. The time elapsed between the leading edge of the injector signal and the midpoint of the net pressure increase is defined as combustion delay. The same cycle is run 15 times automatically. And the average ignition delay and combustion delay values for the sample is obtained. The derived cetane number is observed to follow a universal relationship with average ignition and combustion delay parameters of a sample. PAC's CID-510 is the only non-engine base cetane number analyzer that is approved by international standardization bodies like ASTM and EN. 
to fuel certification. The CID 510 is already resulting in enormous savings in well-known refineries in many countries spread all over the world.